How do you take a fighter jet, maybe even an older one, and give it the power to see a single truck hiding under a tree at night from 30 miles away? The answer is not a bigger bomb or a faster engine. It's a box, a smart box of sensors bolted underneath the wing. And one of these boxes, born from real and desperate need, has become the most trusted eye in the sky for pilots around the world. Stick with me, because today we're going to pull back the curtain on the technology that changed air combat forever. It shifted the fight from who has the biggest muscle to who has the sharpest eyes. Welcome to War Tech Zone. Today, we are talking about one of the most important pieces of kit on a modern fighter jet, Israel's Advanced Targeting Pod. Now, if you're new to this, don't worry, we'll keep it simple. Think of a fighter jet's mission. It's not just about flying fast, it's about finding the right target, knowing for sure it's the enemy, and hitting it without hurting anyone else. In today's battles, winning comes down to seeing first, seeing clearly, and striking with absolute confidence. That is exactly what this pod does. It turns a jet from a powerful bludgeon into a surgical scalpel. It doesn't replace the airplane, it upgrades its brain, it gives it vision. This pod's job goes beyond just aiming a missile, it's about understanding the whole battlefield in real time and giving the pilot the power to make perfect decisions. In this video, I'm going to explain this piece of technology in plain language. We'll look at why Israel needed it so badly, how it actually works, and why it's on so many different different jets, from the United States Air Force to European allies. By the time we're done, you'll see why this unassuming pod is a bigger deal than a whole new jet in many cases. So where did this come from? The story starts with a very real problem. It's the late 1900s. The Israeli Air Force is facing constant threats. They need to be able to hit targets with perfect accuracy, not just in broad daylight, but in the middle of the night in dust storms and bad weather. Why? Because their enemies often hide and move under the cover of darkness or poor conditions. Old methods weren't good enough. Dropping bombs based on rough maps led to mistakes. Pilots couldn't see. The risk of hitting the wrong thing or missing entirely was way too high. Israel, a small nation with limited resources, couldn't afford to build hundreds of new magical jets with everything built in. They needed a smarter solution. So Israeli engineers, particularly from a company called Raphael, ask a brilliant question. What if, instead of rebuilding the whole jet, we just give it a new pair of eyes? A pair of eyes that can see in the dark, see through haze, and see for miles. This idea, a modular upgrade, was a game changer. They decided to build a self-contained unit, a pod, that could be hung on the outside of almost any fighter jet. A pilot could take off, use this pod to find and lock onto a target with incredible precision, and then go home. The jet itself didn't need a major overhaul. This was about smart, practical innovation. The first versions of this pod came out in the 1990s. They were good, but the real genius was in the plan. This was never meant to be a one-time product. It was designed to evolve. As cameras and computers got better, the pod could be updated. New software could be loaded, better sensors could be swapped in. This meant an Air Force could buy these pods and keep them relevant for decades just by upgrading them piece by piece. That's a huge cost savings and a massive tactical advantage. Now, let's get into what this thing actually is and does. At its heart, the pod is a flying camera and computer station. It's mounted on a hard point under the jet's wing or fuselage. From the outside, it looks like a a long, streamlined tube, but inside it's packed with incredible technology. The main tools are two types of cameras. First, you have a high-resolution daylight camera. It's like a super powerful TV camera, giving the pilot a crystal clear zoomed-in view of the ground, even from very high up. Second, and this is the magic part, you have an infrared camera. This doesn't see light, it sees heat. Every person, every vehicle, every building gives off a heat signature. At night, when a regular camera just sees blackness, the infrared camera sees a clear picture of warm objects against a cool background. A tank engine that was running an hour ago will still glow. A person hiding in a field will stand out. But it's not just two cameras, there's also a laser. This laser has two jobs. First, it acts as a rangefinder. It shoots a beam of light at a target and measures how long it takes to bounce back. This tells the jet's computer the exact distance to the target down to a few meters. Second, it can designate a target. It paints the target with a laser spot that a smart bomb or missile can see and follow all the way to impact. 
effect. This is what makes precision strikes possible. All of this data, the visual picture, the heat picture, the laser distance, gets mashed together inside the pod's computer. That computer then takes this information and sends a simple, clean picture to a screen in the cockpit. The pilot isn't overwhelmed with raw data. They see a clear image with a targeting crosshair and all the info they need. This brings us to the most important feature for the pilot, integration. This pod doesn't work alone. It talks to the jet. It connects directly with the jet's navigation system, its weapons computer, and its flight controls. Here's how a mission might go with this pod. A pilot takes off at night. They fly towards a general area where intelligence says there might be a threat. They switch on the pod. On their screen, the world below, which is pitch black to their own eyes, lights up in shades of gray from the infrared camera. They see heat. They scan the area. They see a cluster of hot spots that look like vehicles. They zoom in with the pod's camera. Now they can distinguish shapes. They see they are trucks, but are they enemy trucks or civilian ones? They might use the high-resolution daylight camera if it's dawn, or they might look for specific heat patterns. Maybe their trucks have their engines running. Once they are sure, they put the crosshair over one truck. They lock the tracking system. Now, even if they fly a curve or the truck tries to move, the pod's camera will automatically stay stuck on that target. The pilot doesn't have to struggle to keep it in view. Then, the pilot decides to engage. They select a laser-guided bomb. They press a button to laze the target. The pod shoots its laser beam at the truck. The bomb is released. It doesn't need the jet anymore. It follows that invisible laser dot all the way down, adjusting its fins to stay on course. The pilot watches on their screen as the crosshair stays on the truck and they see the explosion. They have just carried out a surgical accuracy at night from miles away. This ability changes everything. It reduces what we call collateral damage, the accidental harm to civilians or buildings nearby. It allows a single jet to do the job that might have required an entire squadron dropping dumb bombs in the past. It makes air power more effective, more responsible, and far more deadly to the right targets. But the story of this Israeli pod gets even more interesting because of its flexibility. One of its biggest selling points is that it can fit on almost anything. The U.S. Air Force put it on their F-16s. The U.S. Navy and Marines put it on their F-A-18s. Countries in Europe put it on their Tornado and Typhoon jets. Why does this matter? It means a country doesn't need to buy a whole new fleet of jets to get this incredible capability. They can buy these pods and bolt them onto the jets they already have. It's an affordable way to modernize an air force. It also means that pilots only have to learn one system. If they are trained to use this pod on an F-16, moving to an F-15 with the same pod is much easier. This commonality is a huge force multiplier for allies fighting together. Now, let's think bigger than just dropping bombs. This pod is a world-class spy camera. Its ability to watch from so far away, day or night, makes it perfect for intelligence missions. A jet can fly along a border, using the pod to record everything it sees. It can watch a compound for hours, seeing who comes and goes. It can track a convoy of vehicles moving across a desert. This video can be saved and analyzed later by intelligence experts on the ground. Even more impressively, with modern data links, that live video can be beamed down to troops on the ground or to a command center hundreds of miles away. A general can literally watch the live feed from a fighter jet's pod on a screen in his headquarters. This gives everyone the same picture of the battlefield. It turns a single fighter jet into a flying surveillance satellite that can be anywhere in minutes. This is why the value of the pod is so high. It's not just a weapon. It's an information gatherer, a battle manager, and a precision tool all in one. And remember, this technology hasn't stood still. The pods flying today are not the same as the ones from the 1990s. Just like your smartphone gets software updates, so does this pod. The cameras have gotten higher definition, the infrared sensors are more sensitive, the computers are faster, allowing for better image processing, maybe even automatically highlighting potential targets. This commitment to upgrading is classic Israeli defense thinking. They build a solid foundation and then constantly improve it. This keeps their technology competitive for a very long time. An Air Force that bought these pods 20 years ago can have them updated to near-modern standards without throwing the whole thing away. So what does all this mean for the future of air combat? It tells us a clear story. The winner in the sky is no longer just the one with the fastest jet. It's the one with the best information. It's the pilot who can see the enemy first, understand what they are doing, and act with decisive accuracy. 
Systems like this Israeli targeting pod have fundamentally rewritten the rules. They have made air power more precise, more deliberate, and more powerful. They have saved lives by reducing mistakes, and they have given a small nation like Israel a massive technological edge that compensates for its small size. In the end, the most advanced machine in the sky is still flown by a human. This technology doesn't replace the pilot, it empowers them. It gives them superhuman vision and clarity. It takes the fog of war and pushes it back. It turns a moment of chaotic combat into a controlled, precise decision. When you look at a modern fighter jet, don't just look at its missiles or its sleek shape. Look for that pod under its wing or belly. That is often the real source of its power. That is the brain that turns raw force into focused effectiveness. It's a perfect example of how real-world problems lead to brilliant, simple, and world-changing solutions. Israel needed to see in the dark to survive, so they built the best pair of eyes in the business, and the world's air forces took notice. If you found this look into real military tech interesting, please do give this video a like. It really helps the channel, War Tech Zone, grow and make more content like this. Let me know in the comments below what other piece of technology you'd like us to break down in simple terms next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.